Well, last week, my son asked me a good question. He said, Dad, do you study theology? And I said, well, yes, and also no. Hi, my name is Jason Sage. I'm the minister with the North 2nd Street Church of Christ here in Clarksville, Tennessee. You are always welcome to come and worship God with us. We call our series Three Minute Gospels, TMG for short. We put ourselves on the clock, and here we go. Well, my son was studying a religious class where he's playing baseball and hopefully getting a college education. And the paper he was writing was on the Trinity. So he's asking me this question. These are kind of new ideas to him. And when he asked the question about theology, he didn't understand my answer. Well, here's the reason. Yes, I'm a preacher, but what does it mean to study theology? The word simply means the knowledge of God. And in that sense, yes, I study theology but I don't study man-made theology. And that brings me to this point. Two of the most popular videos on my channel are one about Bible translation and another about Calvinism. So why is Calvinism such a big deal? Well, Calvinism is an idea taught by theology. Uh, John Calvin wrote his Institutes of the Christian Religion, the five points of Dort, guide and direct all those who believe in faith only religion or faith only salvation. So why do we make such a big deal of it? Because they keep sinners from the waters of baptism. And that's a terrible thing. What they've done is they haven't taken the word of God and just read it and said, this is what we'll do. They've taken man's theological ideas about this book. They've read those and they've convinced themselves that they're right. So who cares, preacher? I mean, we're all trying to go to the same place. We all worship the same God. Okay, but baptism saves. Jesus himself says in John chapter 3 and verse 7, Do not marvel that I say unto you, you must be born again. And you know the list of Acts 2.38 and Mark 16.16 16 and Matthew 28.18-20 through 20 and on and on, Acts 22.16. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21, baptism that now saves us. All those things are important. So either Calvinism, an idea that's derived from a study of man-made theology, is right, and baptism is not necessary for salvation, or what the Bible says is true, and it's really, really important. The Bible is true, and baptism is really, really important. Let me read one text for, for, uh, to you. This is from um, Titus chapter 3. I'll begin in verse 4. And Titus here says that at one time we were lost in our sins, and then something happened, something changed. Verse 4, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified by grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Yes, we're saved by grace through faith. But who's saved by grace through faith? He who is baptized for the forgiveness of his sins. And it matters. And if we study what God's will is in his book, that's the conclusion to which we'll come. If you believe in Jesus Christ, be baptized this hour. Call us if we can help. God is good.